Alright guys, so listen, I've been telling you all for a long ass time that humanity is doomed! Now, as you guys might know, your boy Beastie is an expert when it comes to dissecting cringe. I know a lot about cringe. I have a PhD in cringe knowledge. I don't even know. As a cringy person, I would know about such things as cringe. And uh, today we're checking out what I would like to call one of the four horsemen of the apocalypse. Now you guys don't know about that, but that's basically four horsemen that will bring about the apocalypse, the end of the world, and one of these people happened to be an adult baby. I think about acting like a baby every day. Hey, uh, hey, 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 God, whoever you are, listen, man, uh, we, we don't claim this jelly baby man as our own. That shit ain't ours, that's your creation. For me, it's, it's a big part of my life. It's something you can go to bed doing. I like to have a bottle each night when I go to bed and got to have my pacifier. A, a, a bottle and a pacifier. <laughs> This man takes pretend to a whole next level. Do you also shit yourself too? Cause that's what babies do. Stanley might be 31 years old. <laughs> 31 years old? Are you kidding me? But for the past 18 years, he's gone to remarkable lengths to remain young at heart. An adult baby is somebody who gets satisfaction by dressing or acting as a baby. I either like to put on my crib toys or my mobile and let them play as I fall asleep. And he doesn't just talk the baby talk, he dedicates eight hours a day role-playing as a toddler. Woo! Damn! The dedication! Eight whole hours out of your day as a baby? This man's dedicated. As if a real baby could just stop being a baby when he's bored of it. Right, of course. As a matter of fact, I can see it all now. Timmy Jr. is two years old, you know? He's in his crib, and then mom brings him into the kitchen and gives him his little, you know, food. <laughs> Open up, little Timmy. And then, you know, after eight hours of being a baby, like most babies do, he's like, oh, the hell with this. Sits down, grabs a beer, pops it open, puts on some sports. Hey, honey, shit, I forgot to take out the trash. Remind me tomorrow before I go to work. It's not sexual at all. It's a feeling of being safe, something I didn't have when I was growing up. And being an adult baby became my way of coping with the world and my own problems. Really? Really? That's your way of coping with problems? War, rape, murder, famine, starvation, poverty can be solved by shitting yourself, wearing a diaper, drinking from a bottle, and having a onesie on. Really? When I'm trying to get into my role, I try to imagine what a kid might be like. Some would feel that I'm obsessed with acting like a baby. With all the props and everything I have, it's more than most people do. That's a lot more fun for sure than, um, let's say sports, video games, friends, people, a job. Like, oh yeah, I could definitely see myself enjoying many hours as a child. Why, why a baby though? Like of all the things you could pick to feel safe, what, why something so helpless and messy as a baby with no IQ? <laughs> Like, pick something like an angsty teen. At least with that, you can, you know, wipe your own butt and get some food. I mean, food that's not baby formula. Make it a little easier to get in so you're not hopping over a rail. I have it Velcroed so you can actually open the door from the side. I feel having a crib is the most important thing. The bars signify safety, and it's something babies have when they grow up they know that their bed is safe. Oh yeah, I, I agree with you on that one. That definitely offers safety and protection from getting any pussy. Are you kidding me? Ain't nobody gonna wanna hop in bed with this big baby, you know what I'm saying? Like, a crib? No, no, there's no way anyone's gonna hop on that dick in your crib, you know? Hey, uh, hey babe, you wanna come over and Nickelodeon and chill in my crib? <laughs> yeah, of course, someone's gonna definitely uh, jump all over that offer. When you're five feet, six inches tall, a typical high chair can be a tight squeeze. So he designed and built his own. I really enjoy it. It makes you feel like a kid. Hi, chair. I wanted to get one for a long time. The ones online are a couple thousand dollars, and I couldn't afford that kind of thing. So I made something that was simple with a with few tools that I had. No! Stop! Stop what you're saying to me! <laughs> this man has taken the little baby high chair and scaled it up to human whale size! He has the NASA spaceship crawler of the high chair! That's incredible! Listen, props to you, my man. Most people have an addiction or like an obsession, you know, something simple and easy like drugs, but nah, you wanna be a baby and you're gonna be a baby. You're gonna make that high chair sit in it and drink your baby formula. Props to you! You're the first ever baby 
to be able to make your own products for being a baby. Stanley eats all of his meals in his high chair and he has a taste for toddler food. I like to have my meals, eat something and watch cartoons, just kind of have fun. Stanley has even tried baby formula, but like every other toddler, he can be extremely selective. It's not like too much of the banana flavor, it's not too much of the strawberry, so it's, it's a perfect blend. Oh God, ah, you're telling me you're gonna have baby formula? Even the babies don't like that shit. You're over there with the little uh, spoon, you know, with the baby formula, Brrr, come on, open up. They give you the middle finger. They pull out a pistol and shoot you. Like even the babies don't like this shit. And you're forcing it down. <laughs> you know what the weird part is? He actually likes that slop. Like I'm not even joking, he must really love it. How do I know? Cause he's like 900 pounds plus. And when you live the majority of your day as a child, eight hours plus, you know what I'm saying? You must really eat a lot of baby formula. You can see it now. He walks in Walmart over to the baby aisle in his onesie, puts his hand out and scoops a year's supply of baby formula in a shopping cart for one evening. Hey listen man, what if there was a war and shit? And then, you know, all the baby formula on the shelves needed to go to babies. You're over here killing babies off. That's what you're doing. He sleeps and eats like a baby, but his greatest tribute to the infant lifestyle is something he keeps under wraps. Though technically he's fully toilet trained, Stanley wears a nappy every day. When I was 13, I started having bedwetting problems and started using diapers, and that was where it started for me. I like to keep my diapers close to my crib so it's easy to change. I was joking! I was joking, Stanley! I didn't actually think you wore a diaper! I, it was jokes! I was making a joke for the audience! This guy actually wears a diaper! And I bet he shits in it! Are you kidding me? I don't understand how a man could wear a diaper. A diaper. Like, when you get old and you have to wear a diaper because your bowels stop working, that's like the point where you kill yourself, but this man is willing to put on a diaper and to probably shit and piss in it. Like, how can you be comfortable walking around for eight hours a day in a diaper full of shit and piss, sitting down and then smearing that shit all over your hairy ass cheeks? I don't get how you could do that. I kind of have um, mixed feelings when it comes to the diapers. There's times when it's like, been doing a lot of moving around, and all of a sudden there's fluff falling out the back of the diaper because the diaper fell apart. I uh, just got regular baby powder. Creates a layer between you and the diaper. That way the diaper can move without causing a rash. I feel like when I'm wearing a diaper that it's like a constant hug from mommy. A co constant hug from mommy? My man, I gotta tell you this and I don't want to spoil your childhood, but mommy may not have been hugging you right. Most people hug around the neck or, you know, the torso. They don't go for the balls and butt. That's not where you hug people. I feel like when I'm wearing a diaper that it's like a constant hug from mommy. Like what type of hug involves going around the genitals like a diaper? I have so many questions and I don't want any answers. Hi, Stanley. Oh my Hi. goodness. Wanna play? Yes. This isn't Evadne's first baby who's old enough to grow a beard. Over the past four years, she's mothered two other adult babies. <laughs> You're trying to get me. <laughs> now see, this is what I don't understand. How could this woman play with the grown ass man as if he's a little baby? That little baby man you're playing with could give you some babies of your own, you know what I'm saying? Out came the sun and dried up all the rain And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again Yay! Like come on, this shit is just way too weird! This man could make you a mother and you're pretending like he's a child? Like I am just, I am way too weirded out by this I am not that accepting, I am sorry! It's lunchtime and with a toddler like Stanley that can be trouble. All right, Stanley, you ready for some food? Yes. It's your juice. All right, Stanley. Yeah. Yeah, open wide. <sighs> Get up, yay! Good job, you cut it off. <laughs> Smooth sailing, you're such a good boy. Okay, Stanley, here's your baby food. Open up. Ah, <laughs> oh, good little baby. By the way, here's your electric and cable bill. What? How can you play games like that, woman? Hop, hop, rivet, rivet, right into the lollipop. Good. Ready for your nap, Stanley? No. Aww. No. No, you don't want to take a nice nap? No. What if I read you a really fun story first? We can cuddle up with the puppies and your favorite book. 
Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, Stanley, you sly little baby, you. I got you, fam. She got you with the cuddle part, huh? Oh, yeah, let's go to the bedroom, Mom. Let's do a little cuddling, you know? Maybe read Clifford the Big Red Dog, and then I'll show you my big red dog, and we can smash in my tiny-ass crib. Fun. Real fun. I really enjoyed playing with the mommy, um, but I think I want something more full-time but I'm sure we're gonna be a long time friends. And that's it. What have we learned, ladies and gentlemen? We have learned that you too can be a baby if you truly want to. And then they'll make a documentary on you, and then I'll get to make fun of you. And I really get taken no more. I've been fighting temptations, my lord. I'm making them restless. And I really can't help it. I've never felt selfish before. I've been living so reckless, I know. Tell me, Loki, you help me. I said, Loki.